Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? This is Angela from Beijing, Beijing Language and Culture University. Our class will start in three minutes. If you can hear me, please type something in the chatting box. Hi. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming. Uh, where are you from? And um, I'm, I am here in Beijing in the school office. Uh, hope you all see you right now. Uh, which country are you from? Or which city you are from? You can type something. Okay. Or you can type in English or in Chinese, both okay. Okay, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, France, Russia. Hi, guys. Oh, you rock? Really? So today we are going to talk about food or ordering food in Chinese. Let me share my screen right now and we will start soon. So if you don't know English, you can type me in Chinese. Hello. Can you see me clearly? Yes, or uh, can you also see my screen? Well. Here goes uh, our topic today, 点菜, ordering food in Chinese. So let's start now. Oh, uh, by the way, here I uh, have a QR code. That is my WeChat. Uh, you, if you have a WeChat, you can scan this QR code and add my WeChat. And if you've got further questions about Chinese or learning Chinese, All right, then uh, let's start today. So start from some warming up questions. Do you like Chinese food? 你喜欢吃中国菜吗? Do you like Chinese food? And Chinese people, we, we love food. And we have a saying, 你以食为天。so mean means people. Shi is food. Tian is sky or God. So we consider or Chinese people consider food as our God. Like it's very important. So food is the first necessity of people. So uh, if you want to uh, have Chinese friend or do business with China, um, the banquet or dinner party is quite important and you should know something about food and ordering food. So today we are going to talk about those topics. All right, then now let's come to the first part, uh, our new words. So we have a menu here. Menu in Chinese is Cai dan, cai dan menu. So <laughs> have a lot of food and drinks here. Um, which one do you like? Let's read through all of the food here. First one, kong pao chicken. 
宫保鸡丁，宫保鸡丁 ，kind of spicy food. Next one, 麻婆豆腐，麻婆豆腐 ，so it's also kind of spicy, spicy tofu. And then,、uh, if you have been in Beijing before, this is the famous Beijing dish, 烤鸭，烤鸭 roast duck. And this one, sweet and sour pork, 古老肉，古老肉 All right, and、uh, we Chinese people love this. Like we love rice, so cook the rice is 米饭，米饭 Also, this one, for noodles is 面 And beef noodle, beef is 牛肉 so 牛肉面 And then、uh, this one in some 点心 or dim sum stores, you will have this steamed dumplings, 小笼包小笼包 Okay, so those are the food we learned today. So we have some drinks. So beer is, 啤酒，啤酒酒 means alcohol. So 啤酒 is beer, and 红酒，红 means red. 红酒 red wine. The next one, 可乐，可乐 that is Coke. 可乐 And last one. 茶，茶 ，that is tea. 茶 Okay, so what food or drink do you like? You can type it. So I will read it one more time from the very beginning. 宫保鸡丁，麻婆豆腐 ，or Martin like 麻婆豆腐。<laughs> 烤鸭，古老肉，米饭，牛肉面，小笼包。Or some people just type 小笼包。Then， 啤酒，红酒，可乐，茶。你喜欢吃什么 ？What do you like to eat? 你喜欢喝什么 ？What do you like to drink? Okay. So, oh, someone, 红茶 red tea. Um, yeah, black tea. That means Chinese. That is, 红茶 Okay. Then, uh, here goes the words list. For this lesson, let's read through. First one, 饭馆儿，饭馆儿，菜单，菜单，点菜，点菜，酸。甜，苦，辣，咸，地道，又，又，干杯，上座。OK， 那么 next let's。Make some sentences using those words. First one is 饭馆 which is restaurant in Chinese. So you can say a Chinese restaurant is 中国饭馆中国饭馆 Oh, by the way, if you have any questions、uh, during the class, you can type 
uh, your question here. I can see it, so I can answer you. So Chinese restaurant again, Zhongguo Fan Guar. So if you like spicy food, you should come to Sichuan, Sichuan province. So Sichuan Fan Guar. They are famous for spicy food in China. And here goes my question. 你去中国饭馆吃过饭吗? Have you been eating in a Chinese restaurant before? Or have you been to a Chinese restaurant? 你去中国饭馆吃过饭吗? You can type your answer. 你去中国饭馆吃过饭吗? Can type your answer. I may. <laughs> Not yet. You should come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally got someone have been eating in a Chinese restaurant. If you have been to a Chinese restaurant, you can say, 我去过, 我去过. Or you don't, you can say 没有, or 还没, not yet. All right. Then uh, let's see. Next word is 菜单, menu. 菜单. So this is the menu. Um, if you want to order some food from the menu, you can use the verb 点. 点 means to order. So order food is 点菜. 点菜. So for example, if you want to order uh, a glass of Coke, you can say this. 我 点了一杯可乐. I ordered a glass of Coke. Or <laughs> you can say this. 我看不懂菜单,你点吧. 我看不懂菜单,I don't understand the menu. 你点吧,you order it. And you can also ask, what food did you order? 你点了什么菜? 你点了什么菜? Okay. Um, also in oral speaking, in oral Chinese, you can also use the verb 要 for ordering food, yao generally means want. So you can speak to the waitress and say this, 我要一个宫保鸡丁. 我要一个宫保鸡丁. So I want to order a kong pao chicken. 我要一个宫保鸡丁. Or you can just say the verb 来 means to come. 来, that is the very oral way of saying um, when you order a food. You can just say this. 来一个宫保鸡丁. So yeah, that is the two ways um, when you want to order a dish. Then uh, you can also say this. 再来一瓶啤酒. 再, it's like then, again. So then I also want a bottle of beer. 再来一瓶啤酒. 
一瓶瓶 bottle， 一瓶啤酒 a bottle of beer， 再来一瓶啤酒。Okay, one more time. 来一个宫保鸡丁，再来一瓶啤酒。So I want to order a kompao chicken and then a bottle of beer. Okay. Now, uh, we are going to learn some words about describing the taste of food. So first one, 酸酸 you can guess the meaning for it. 酸 sour, right? So 酸 is sour. 甜甜 for chocolate, you can use 甜 sweet. 甜 and bitter. 苦，苦 ，and spicy or hot， 辣，辣。Okay, last one, salty， 咸，咸。Again， 酸，甜，苦，辣，咸。Okay, <laughs> look at this picture. Do you like spicy? 你喜欢吃辣吗 Do you like spicy? 你喜欢吃辣吗 Or I can ask, 你能吃辣吗 Can you eat spicy food? Can you eat spicy? 你能吃辣吗 ？Oh, <laughs> someone said yes. 喜欢，很喜欢。Okay. <laughs> so for him, for him, he should answer, 不能 right? 我不喜欢。So 你能吃辣吗 ？Can you eat spicy? The answer is 不能。No, I can't. Or no, yes, I can. 你能吃辣吗 ？All right. Uh, then here, do you still remember the name for this? 古老肉 So it tastes sweet and sour. So. 古老肉又酸又甜，真好吃，好吃，好 good， 吃 to eat， so 好吃 taste good， so 古老肉又酸又甜，真好吃， so the sweet and sour pork is sour and also sweet， it tastes really good。真好吃。<laughs> And for him, 这个菜，这个菜 this dish， 这个菜又苦又咸，又苦又咸 ，both bitter and salty. Does it taste good? So, 太难吃了。太难吃了，难吃。Bad taste or taste bad. 太难吃了。No, it's not good to eat. 这个菜又苦又咸，太难吃了。Okay. Here we have this structure. 又，又。That is for、uh, describing two things together. So both sour and sweet. Two characteristic. 
这家饭馆的菜又好吃又便宜。So the dishes of this restaurant is both taste good and also cheap. 又好吃又便宜。Taste good and cheap. So these are the two characteristics of this restaurant. So, 又酸又甜，又好吃又便宜。We use 又又 to describe two characteristics, and they need to be both good or both bad. Like 酸 and 甜 is both what I like, so you can use it. And 好吃 and 便宜 are both good characteristic of that restaurant. Let's go back to the previous sentence. 又苦又咸 both bitter and salty.、Uh, I don't like it. So the two characteristics are all bad or all good. All right. Then、uh, next word. 地道，地道 ，so authentic. I am from Beijing. <laughs> 我是北京人 So for me, I can say, 烤鸭是地道的北京菜 So roast duck is the authentic Beijing dish. So if you come to Beijing, you must eat 烤鸭 roast duck. So 烤鸭是地道的北京菜 <laughs> I have a question. Do we have students from UK, 英国？哎，地道的英国菜是什么？地道的英国菜 ，authentic food from UK is what? Or 地道的韩国菜，韩国 Korean. So 地道的韩国菜是什么？ What is the authentic Korean food? And where are you from? What is the authentic food from your place? So, 你的国家最地道的菜是什么？ Italian meal. So I guess you're from Italian. How? Then just now we have a、uh, food and describe the flavor of the food. And right now we need to have some drink. So when you drink、uh, with the Chinese people, you can use this phrase, 干杯 cheers, 干杯 Also, when you、uh, drink, sometimes you need to say something like、uh, to propose a toast, and you can use this structure, weigh something, 干杯 So here I write, 为我们的合作干杯合作 cooperation, 为我们的合作干杯 To our cooperation, cheers. 为我们的合作干杯 And what she should reply? Yes, you can just say, 干杯 Right, that's right. So, 为 something 干杯 For example, you can say, 为我们的合作干杯为健康干杯、uh, ，to health. Yes, 为身体健康干杯 Although drinking is not good for health, <laughs> but we we also say that 为健康干杯，为我们的合作干杯 All right. The next, let's see a dialogue. You can use those new words you just learned to 
order some food. Uh, let's read together. 这是菜单。你喜欢吃什么 ？This is the menu. What do you like to eat? 我看不懂中国菜单。你点吧。I don't understand the Chinese menu. You order it. 好，来一个烤鸭吧。是地道的北京菜。Okay, let's order a roast duck. That is the authentic Beijing food. 我知道烤鸭很好吃。Ah,、uh, I know the roast duck is good to eat. 你能吃辣吗 ？Can you eat spicy? 可以吃一点儿。别太辣 ，so I can eat a little. Don't be too spicy. 那再来个宫保鸡丁吧。Then let's order a kung pao chicken. 有没有酸甜的菜 ？Is there some food sweet and sour? 那来一个古老肉吧，又酸又甜，你一定喜欢。Then let's order a sweet and sour pork, both sour and sweet. You must like it. Okay, let's read it one more time from the very beginning. You can read、uh, after me. 这是菜单，你喜欢吃什么？我看不懂中国菜单，你点吧。好，来一个烤鸭吧，是地道的北京菜。我知道烤鸭很好吃。你能吃辣吗？可以吃一点儿，别太辣。那再来个宫保鸡丁吧。有没有酸甜的菜？那来一个古老肉吧，又酸又甜，你一定喜欢。Okay, <laughs> then、uh, that's all for the dialogue. Then you know how to order food in Chinese. Let's learn something about.、Uh, The food culture or eating.、Uh, so, Chinese,、um, unlike other like、um, people from other countries, they may have their own food while eating together. But Chinese people would like to share the dishes. So、uh, we almost all use those kind of round、um, table when we eat together with a lot of people. So we'll put the dishes in the middle of the table so we can share it. So see, it's like this. So、um, if you want to、uh, have a dinner with some Chinese people,、uh, which seat you should take? Do you know that? And you can guess which seat is the most important seat.、Uh, In this table, so、uh, here is the door of this room. And usually,、uh, the most important thing of the host of this banquet of this dinner will sit、um, facing to the door. 
Yes, uh, the one that far from the door, facing the door is the most important seat. Also, uh, if you have a second host, that people will sit, that guy will sit uh, near the door, would be easy to get to some service or like to pay or uh, tell the waiter or waitress to serve something. And the guests, the important guests, will sit uh, right next to uh, the first host. So the seats that facing the door uh, or far away from the door, also facing the store, we call it shang zuo. Zuo means seat. Shang is up. Shang zuo, seats of owner were the most important thing, uh, most important guys will sit uh, here. So from this little picture here, this is the door. And usually those seats will be the most important ones. So we call it shang zuo. So you can say to your guest, qing shang zuo. So Please go to the seats of owner. All right, then uh, let's do a practice at the end. Here is the menu I just show you at the very beginning. Uh, now we learn some sentences and words. Then you try to order. Uh, one food or drink from this menu in Chinese. You can type your sentence to order one food or drink from this menu. What do you want to eat? What do you want to drink? You can try order some food here. Type your sentence to order food or drink from this menu. Oh yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Ah, I want a Gong Bao Ji Bing. So she wants a Gong Bao Chicken. So, mi fan, yes, rice. Fu Yuan, like a mi fan, a xiao long bao. Oh, ye like yi bei cha, not yi ge bei. Yi bei cha. So, yi bei hong jiu, a cup or a glass of something. Yi bei hong jiu. Yi bei cafe, yes, right. Uh, a bottle of rain wine. Okay. Nyoro mian and hong jiu. Okay. Ma po tofu. Oh, I like ma po tofu. Okay. Anyone want wu lao rou, sweet sour pork? <laughs> Mayo. <laughs> no one like this. Uh, Give me some fan you want, right? Okay. All right. Then uh, that's all for the lesson. And next part, uh, I want to introduce about our uh, online Chinese courses. So first one is our 12 weeks small group Chinese class. Um, this is um, a picture of like the class, how we do the lesson. Um, we have a 12 weeks long program. This is a 12 weeks long program and the classes will be live online. Um, the course is designed for students from 
beginner to like HSK4 plus to HSK5. So we have 10 levels. Each level will take 12 weeks long. So uh, from the beginners to HSK5. And what you will get from the 12 weeks long program? So uh, there will be one live class uh, per week during the 12 weeks, like this. This is how we do the lesson. So we will have one live class per week during the 12 weeks, one, one live class per week. And every week the teacher will provide you learning materials like this, like new words, texts, and also recording for the texts. Also, uh, you need to prepare the class uh, before you take the live lesson, and then you take lesson live online with the teacher and other students of your group. And after class, you will have some homework to do. So this is an example of the homework. And then, uh, uh, at the end of the 12 weeks, you will have a test online. And then if you uh, pass the test, you can get a certificate from our school uh, like this. Also, if you have WeChat, we will have a WeChat group for the teachers and the classmates. So you can discuss your problem while you are learning Chinese. Uh, also, by the way, I mentioned it again. Uh, this QR code is my WeChat. You can scan it and add my WeChat. Yep. And right now, the 12 weeks long program, uh, we have a 20% off before this weekend. Uh, it used to be 1,350 RMB per level. 12 weeks long program. And right now it only costs 1,080 RMB right now for uh, one level, so 12 weeks long. Yep, so that is for the group class. And also we have personalized one-on-one -on -one Chinese class. So uh, if you want a personalized or customized course, so like you want to learn something about your work, about um, like just about speaking or just about Chinese character, um, we can give you a personalized class. Um, so one-on-one -on -one class also is the most flexible course we have. You can choose to have packages of 30 classes uh, to 150 classes. Uh, we will give you some discounts if you order more than 60 classes uh, in one time. So it costs 150 RMB per class. And then we also have Business Chinese course, uh, which is also a 12 weeks long program. Um, but for business Chinese, we will more focus on the words or expressions about working occasion or um, business occasion. So uh, for this program, um, in the 12 weeks for one level, um, every week you need to learn some videos online by yourself from our website. And you need to do a homework weekly and then you take the lab lesson with the teacher and other students so to, pra uh, to practice what you learn by yourself. And then uh, after class, uh, there will be a weekly quiz, then you come to the next uh, week. So after 12 weeks of learning, there will also be a final test. If you pass the test, continue from the next level. Also you can apply for a certificate from our school. And one level, one 12 weeks long uh, business Chinese program will cost 
1,800 RMB. Also, for business Chinese course, we have、uh, just video course, the audio version. You can learn just by yourself without、um, the live lessons, and that is for 800 RMB. And here we got a, a video for the business Chinese course. Watch it. One class is fifty minutes. Yeah. So,、uh, do you have any questions?、Uh, How can we?、Um, you can apply this course from、uh, China Animations、uh, website. I think Nadia will send you an email later after the class, and then you can apply that from the link. And remember,、uh, our twelve weeks long small group class for general Chinese、uh, is having the twenty percent off. Before this weekend, June the sixth. So, if you are interested in join us to learn together with other students from all over the world, you can apply it right now. So,、uh, is there any questions?、Um, if you have questions about our courses, you can type it in the chatting box so I can answer you. So, how many classes in one week? So, for the twelve weeks long program, there will be only one class per week, which is fifty minutes to an hour. Ah,、uh, is there a textbook for the class? And the class for general Chinese, the twelve week long small group class,、uh, will base from this series of books,、um, the standard HSK、uh, textbook. But there will be some small difference.、Uh, so we will provide you the digital version、uh, of the text and the, all of the learning material. So you don't need to buy any book. Yeah, Nadia just、uh, share a link for applying the course. You can apply right now if you like it. So for the schedule of the group class, that will depends on the student of the group. So、uh, we may have students from all over the world, and the course will start all year round. As soon as there are three students in one group, so if you、uh, apply it right now, enroll it, and、uh, you need to、uh, book a time to have、uh, a talk with me. So we will know your level and your need, and also we will put you on the waiting list.、Uh, when there are three students in one group, we will start that group, and also. Uh, we need to check with each student in that group about their time and their available time. We will find out a time that available for all of the students in that group. Then we can start. So yeah,、uh, one class per week, twelve、uh, weeks in total. <laughs> uh, I will be the teacher for some groups. Not all of them. We have many teachers. And for、uh, business Chinese, we don't have a textbook.、Uh, you you need to learn from the videos online, and also you do some homework and upload it online. 
and take the lab lessons. All of the learning materials are online. We don't have a book. So we are from the online education college of BLCU. So all of our courses uh, are online. We don't have uh, like in-person class right now. Is it possible to have a trial uh, business Chinese class? So uh, we will have trial class for business Chinese in the future. Uh, you can add my WeChat and um, we will add you to the student group for business Chinese. Uh, they will share some information uh, about the trial class for business Chinese. Okay, so um, any other questions about the course? So if you want to add my WeChat, here is a QR code. You can scan the QR code to add my WeChat. Yes, for uh, both of the 12 weeks on general small group Chinese class and the business Chinese class, um, if you pass the test and successfully finish one level of our course, you can apply for a certificate from our school. So how to pay from a board? Uh, you can pay online, uh, PayPal, uh, credit card, or if you can transfer it uh, to our bank account, it's also okay. All right, uh, here goes also my email. Uh, if you don't have WeChat, you can also send me email if you have any questions. And also uh, later, uh, Nadia from Chain Animations will send you email um, about the detail of the course. And if you want to apply for it, or if you have more questions, um, you can ask me or ask Chain Animations. Um, we will try our best to help you. And uh, if you have WeChat, you can scan, again, scan this QR code to add me. So when will this 12 week class start? As I said just now, uh, the course will start all year round as soon as there are three students in one group. Okay, so, uh, so if you don't have WeChat, you can just send me an email. Then uh, that's all for today. If you don't have any more questions about our courses. So, 谢谢大家, thank you, 谢谢. Bye for now.